A line segment AB is drawn on the coordinate plane such that there is a point C on this segment and this point C divides the segment in the given ratio. We are asked for the coordinates of point C. We can use a formula to solve this problem. That formula is actually this one. But when I share this formula with my 11th grade students, even if I prove it or explain it at length, it still seems a bit intimidating. So, instead of starting the topic this way, I want us to first take a look at a coordinate plane by hand and see what's going on. Let's get started. Now, first we drew our coordinate plane and then we identified point A. Its abscissa is minus 1 and its ordinate is 7. Next, let's identify point B. Its abscissa is 4 and its ordinate is minus 3. Here is our point B. Now we can draw the line segment AB. Now, I need to divide this line segment AB in the given ratio. So let's take a closer look at our ratio. If I call the line segment BC here K, then since this part will be 4K, I can also call the line segment AC 4K. So point C will be at such a position that its distance from A will be 4K, and its distance from B will be K. After assigning 4K to one part and K to the other, I can see that the total length of the line segment AB here is 5K. So this is actually a line segment of five units. And if I cut it at the fourth unit, that is, if I had a ruler and divided this into five equal parts and took the four unit section, then I could identify that point. But now we will determine this on the coordinate plane. To do this, we will use something other than this line segment. Let's look at its horizontal and vertical components. Now I'm first calculating the length of the vertical component of the line segment AB. Look, here we have seven and here we have negative three. So the length of the vertical component here is 10. Let's also look at the horizontal component. Here we have negative 1 and here we have 4. When we look at the distance between the two, this part is also 5. Now I'm starting to break these down according to the given ratios to determine the location of the point. First, I set 5k equal to 5, which is here. Then I find the length of k and the length of 4k, 1 and 4. So what I'm saying is that the point here is at such a position that it divides the horizontal segment into 4 and 1. Now let's also look at the vertical part. We had said this part is 10. Therefore, if we set 5k equal to 10, k becomes 2 and 4k becomes 8. So it will be at such a position that it divides this part into two pieces, 8 and 2. Let's draw that as well. And look, the abscissa is 3 and the ordinate is minus 1. So we've identified the point 